Jada does have a lot of celebrity friends, and because she is so outspoken and she just talks a little bit too much, she ends up getting into plenty of feuds. And that's definitely the case when it comes to Chris Rock. Remember the 2016 Academy Awards that she made such a big deal about? At the time, Chris was hosting the Oscars that Jada and Will decided to bypass due to lack of representation. He later joked about the couple in his opening monologue saying, Jada's mad her man Will was not nominated for concussion. Pretty much calling her out for probably why they're not there. Jada said to People Magazine in 2013 that she hadn't spoken to Chris Rock since Will backhanded him during the 2022 Oscars broadcast. But their differences began years earlier. Quote, I think there might be some misunderstanding between Chris and I as far as the 2016 Oscars, saying I think that he may have taken offense, which I meant no harm in offending. The two did eventually make up after Chris Rock reached out in 2016, but he hadn't spoken to Jada or Will since the 2022 Oscar slap. Jada said while Chris Rock attempted to apologize right after the event, she didn't feel it was time to hash things out, saying that Chris came down to the end of the stage and tried to apologize to me, but yeah, it was too late. It was a heated moment. Chris looks to me and he says, Jada, I meant you, I meant no harm. Now I, I'm just, out of it because I yeah. really worried about and Will. Will doing? He's just sitting there. And Will's still talking. He's like, oh. he's still because now he's mad because Chris is talking to me. And I go, Chris, this is about some old. Sh That's all I could think to say, yeah. right? And I couldn't really take in his apology. How unusual for Will, a guy who, I mean, on that kind of stage to do something so insane. Absolutely. It's totally it's out of character. It's because she's pushed him to that point, but I'll keep my opinion to myself him and to you guys. Whatsoever. Jada revealed that Chris poking fun at her bald hairstyle wasn't the only time that she had been offended by him, saying, I'll say several times that I've had my feelings hurt for sure. I've had my feelings hurt a lot by Chris, but at the end of the day too, being in the spotlight, it comes with the territory. So Jada gets that it's not easy here in Hollywood. There's a lot of people who will come after you, like 50 Cent. Now 50 Cent, he is prone to public beefs, but he's called out Jada for her checkered past in 2013 and even started a campaign to rescue Will Smith from her. The controversy was sparked in October of that year after Jada admitted to selling drugs when she was a teen. Jada revealed that she didn't have the best influence in her life growing up as we discussed and that she had to fend for herself saying that I knew that anything I needed was something I needed to provide for. I decided to sell drugs with selling um, the, the white powder which is not good. The drug dealers were the ones that had affluence. The drug dealers were the ones that had money. Right, so that's what we readily saw as success. My mother was not doing well. She was a high functioning heroin addict, but nonetheless, we didn't have the things that we should have. Like the, the home we lived in was not taken care of. Even though I always had a regular job, I just wanted more financial freedom. I decided to sell drugs. I decided to sell crack cocaine. Um, and, you know, just along the way, just kind of leveled up. And that was my solution at that particular time to survive. And it really, it helped me survive, but it put me into a lot of danger and I hurt a lot of people. Now 50 Cent steps in because he wasn't impressed by Jada's will to survive by any means necessary. Instead, he went to Twitter and said, all right, enough is enough, saying free Will Smith, WTF is going on. His comments also came after Jada revealed that she and Will had privately split back in 2016, despite publicly appearing together in the years followed, which screams PR relationship. Now when Jada tried to promote her book, she decided to go on tour, and this just got people all riled up because nobody wants to hear these comments especially out in person. One TikToker in particular, Ryan Davis, posted in 2023 begging Jada to leave us alone, getting over 500,000 likes on the app, saying, why do you keep giving us stuff we don't ask for? Referring to the comments about her marriage and her book, Worthy, saying, I guess the book is called How to Publicly Embarrass Your Husband. Somebody tell Jada Pickett Smith to leave us alone. Why? Why you keep giving us stuff we don't ask for? She's doing a book tour right now. I guess the book is called How to Publicly Embarrass Your Nigga. And it's probably a great read. It's probably going to be a New York Times bestseller because if she don't know how to do nothing else, she knows how to publicly embarrass this man. She done told us that her and Will ain't been together since 2016. Why we need to know that? And why do you think that's great news? Do you not forget how you guys lie to our face all the time? Remember when the news came out that you spent the whole month of July with August inside of you, like you got your months mixed up? 
Remember that? He goes on to bash Jada for how she treated Will during several media interviews. If she doesn't know how to do anything else, she knows how to publicly embarrass this man. He also called her out for how she made light of their rocky journey, referring to the time that Jada remarked on the Red Table Talk that she and Will ride together, we die together, a bad marriage for life. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together, we, we die, die together. together. Bad, bad marriage, marriage for, for life. <laughs> Why would you say bad marriage for life and then turn around and tell us that you were shocked when he called you his wife after he slapped Chris Rock? She said, we haven't called each other husband and wife in a long time. So again, I think an another comment that she could have totally kept to herself. And because she's had so many bizarre moments throughout her career, a lot of celebrities have dubbed her as lost. This article reads that Rick Ross wasn't exactly on Jada Pickett Smith's side when her marriage woes went public. In fact, he collaborated with her ex-lover August on their 2020 track Entanglements, which seemed to be a direct response to the affair that Jada had on Will with this much younger August kid. Rick Ross spoke out in a Rolling Stone interview saying he wasn't impressed with her worthy memoir or how she carried herself in the limelight. To me, she's psychologically lost and needs some counseling. Jesus, what are you going to tell us next? He speculated that she might have been her own biggest enemy when it came to book sales, admitting, I heard the book flopped because she already told us everything and nobody even cares. The rapper threw some serious shade at Jada for her less than notable movie career, acknowledging, you were in the movie Set It Off, and that's where we all know you from. You got $15,000 for that role and that's it. Calm down. He also attacked her for starting an affair with her son, Jaden's close friend, whom he had introduced to his parents, saying, you effed your son's best friend. You said your son introduced you to psychedelics. What is next? And he's right. At one time, we thought Will Smith and Jada was shacking Kobe. Just on some, you know, red carpet, let's get this money type shit. But how Jada Pinkett Smith moving, it, it, it don't make you want to really be that close with a woman. It'll really make you three consider. Now reconsider, three consider ever being married. Damn, baby, you talking about so much personal business. What was your, what's your credit score? What's your beacon score? We don't believe you was worth 50 million. Now, show it to us, prove it to us. We don't believe this shit. Now show us, show us. Will, go home, Will. Go home, Will. They called me Will growing up. Will, you just, come on, Will. Make her go open you a, a moon pie. Anna Navarro from The View also had some thoughts about Jada's book. This article reads that she had choice words for Jada during a segment of The View, slamming Jada for what she called using bombshells to advertise her memoir. Why do I know so much about these people's marriage? I kind of feel, I mean, like, literally, I, I kind of feel like I know more about their marriage than I know about my own damn marriage. I don't need to know all of this. I just, you know what? I just want to watch reruns of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and bad boys, bad boys, bad boys. What you going to do? Just leave this out of my head. I think she's having a relationship with her bank account because every time she needs to like increase the ratings of the red table every time she needs to sell books she drops these bombshells i find it unseemly i find and it I smart will, i will tell I you find this. it smart be careful it's of anybody who pretends to have a perfect marriage now jada actually responded to anna's comments on the breakfast club advising the television personality to take time to read the book while the mother of two admits that she respects a different point of view she feels that her haters have a bit of reading to do which is just another tactic of them trying to sell the book even though nobody wants it she says will knows what it is i know what it is my kids know what it is and more importantly great supreme does too who the hell is great supreme thank you for watching this clip from the let's get into a podcast to view the full episode visit the link listed below